Today we face the monsters that are at our door and bring the fight to them. Today we are canceling the apocalypse. <laughs>
I, I do enjoy the setup of this movie. It's great. Uh, these kaiju that come up from beneath the Pacific Ocean and they wreck havoc and the human race bands together and create these robotic creatures called Jaegers to take the kaiju out. Awesome premise. Great action sequences. I will say, with a lot of movies of this nature, the characters are nothing to write home about. Now, there are good performances, and that's what stands Pacific Rim out above from some of the other similar movies in this genre, like recent MonsterVerse movies have had really weak characters like Godzilla vs. Kong, for instance. But at least this movie has Idris Elba, who is awesome, the most interesting character in the whole movie, has one of the best speeches I've ever seen in any movie, where he's like, today we are casting in the apocalypse. Uh, I like Charlie Day. There's a lot of fun in this movie. Ron Perlman, yes, Hellboy himself even shows up as a black market dealer who's very over the top. The main characters are kind of boring, in my opinion, even though the actors are doing fine with what they're given. Charlie Hunnam and the actress who plays Mako I think are fine, but they're easily like the least interesting characters in the whole movie. And there's other secondary characters who are just kind of throwaway characters. And they don't they're not really the most interesting or compelling characters. They're just there for the sake of being a part of this monster movie. Uh, I've also, I'm not the biggest fan of the runtime. It's like two hours and ten minutes. I think you could have trimmed some of the fatting a little bit personally. But overall, an awesome movie. I love the action of Pacific Rim. And that's what makes this fun. Guillermo del Toro, the way he crafts the action in this movie is incredible. I love especially the Hong Kong action sequence. Especially is awesome where you got... Gypsy Danger Jaeger grabbing a boat, smacking the one kaiju, and then there's a one kaiju with wings that show up, and then the Jaeger grabs that sword and goes crazy with it. It is an awesome sequence. That is easily the standout in the whole movie. So overall, I really like Pacific Rim. I'm giving the film a 4 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 76 out of 100. So I hope you enjoyed my vlog video on Pacific Rim. If you want more extensive thoughts on Pacific Rim, I'll, you can check out my previous video that I did with Trav Traz. I'll also leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Guillermo del Toro playlist, which is why I'm doing another Pacific Rim video. I'm reviewing all of Guillermo del Toro's movies from his directing debut to his most recent film. The next Guillermo del Toro film I'm tackling on this project is Crimson Peak from 2015. I'm excited to revisit that film again. If you've seen Pacific Rim, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides vlog videos, I also do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!